Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Recently, the Hellman Frame in our landing craft received an entire rework that has given us a new way to look at Warframes and their ability kit setups. So, here is a quick breakdown of what you need to know. A small disclaimer, to really get into the Helm of content, you will want to have played Warframe for quite a while. This will require a lot of resources to level up and make use of this feature. The Helm of is a way for us to combine an ability from one Warframe and infuse it into another Warframe. So as you could imagine, if you're unfamiliar with Warframe ability kits and builds, then this will take a bit of getting used to. This content is currently locked to Marshy rank 8 players and beyond. Upon entering the room, most of it seems the same, however, at the back of the room behind the chair is the Helminth itself. You can interact with it for some quirky gimmicks with your Kubros, Kavats, and even the infested drone. Approaching the chair and sitting on it will showcase a new screening for you to dive into. Let's break down what we see here by starting with the Helminth level in the top left. To increase your helmet level, you can either feed it with general resources that you gain throughout missions, or subsume and kill off a Warframe which I'll explain a little bit later. For each level you gain, you unlock more room to subsume, and learn more abilities from Warframes whilst also unlocking helmet specific abilities for your Warframes as well. There is no rush to level up, so please take your time. However, at the 8th metamorphosis stage, you will also be able to use sentient resources to reset any cravings that Helminth once had. At the very bottom of the shown abilities list, you will see Subsume Warframe. This is where you can sacrifice a Warframe to the Helminth for it to learn and unlock one set ability from that Warframe for all other Warframes to use if they so wish. Inside the description below, I will go and add in a link for all of the Warframe abilities that you learn and you gain by subsuming from them. For example, let's take Loki as a Warframe that we would like to subsume. The best way to do this is to farm another Loki from the Neptune Assassination, craft him inside your foundry, and do remember that you don't need him to be level 30. From here, select your Loki inside your arsenal, Walk back into the Helminth room and access the chair, then click Subsume Warframe. Once you're happy with this, type in Confirm and Loki will now be killed off and removed from your arsenal and the Helminth will unlock one set ability Loki has to offer. Now currently, the ability for Loki is his decoy, which is his first ability. This process will now take 23 hours for the Helminth to fully process and learn, so you will have to wait a little bit until this is done or you can rush the process with 50 Platinum. For you, I advise waiting. However, for the purpose of this video, I will be spending my 50 hard-earned Platinum to help guide you along. F in the comments section. Let's now select a new Warframe like Excalibur. By accessing our Helmet screen once again, we can now infuse Loki's decoy ability into our Excalibur, and to do so, we will be needed to make sure that our Helmet has enough energy and fuel to begin the infusion process. In the bottom right of the Helminth screen, you can choose to select to feed your Helminth. Every resource in Warframe is categorized into six different secretions that we will be seeing on the right hand side of our screen. Oxides, Calcs, Biotics, Synthetics, Pheromones, and Bile. You can click on each of these icons and on the left hand side it will filter all of the resources you can use to feed the Helminth for this particular secretion. If the Helminth craves a resource, you can benefit bonuses from using that resource on the Helminth if it has an up arrow next to the resource. If it has a red down arrow, then it will not be as generous in secretion returns. So try to get the most out of each resource by giving the Helminth what it desires. You can view which secretions you'll be needing for each infusion you do by simply clicking on the ability you wish to infuse and paying attention to the right hand side. Feed your helm with what you need, and when ready, you will be able to infuse ability. When infusing the ability, you can replace any of the current Warframe's abilities you want for this new infused ability. For example, we will be removing Excalibur's Radial Javelin, and we will be replacing it with Loki's Decoy. One of the better parts of this is allowing you to place this in a configuration of your choice. So if I only want one particular build to benefit from this decoy ability, then I can check config C for example, and then whenever I use config C, it will have this unique setup. 
As shown here on the screen, Excalibur is now using Loki's decoy ability. Whenever a Warframe is subsumed, the color of the Warframe will give you a flower return on your helm and wall. So if you want different colored flowers, then choose your Warframe colors carefully. The Helmet cannot subsume any Prime Warframes, only their base defaults. And finally, if you ever wish to name your Helmet, you can do so as you enter the room. There is a panel to access on the left hand side. Shout out to Tactical Potato as he gave me the perfect name for this disgusting creature in the back of the room. I really do owe him one. And as per usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I have missed anything or if you have any questions, then please hit me up in the comments section below. If this video helped you or you know it could help somebody else, then please give it a like and a share. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next video.